Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video and today I'm actually with the 435 just for a little bit. Yeah, I can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life, there's no telling you. You guys have been noticing on my Instagram stories that my airbag light is on. Yeah, ever since I put in the M4 seats, my airbag light has been on. So my boy Nick, he's been very busy with school recently. But I think now he has the time to go ahead and clear my airbag lights and hopefully coat them in. Hopefully get that stuff situated. It's a little complicated because it's a completely different seat from a completely different car. But hopefully he can take care of it. And then once this car gets situated, we're going to head down to the shop and do an insane mod. Which you guys know, we're going to try to lower this 650i. We're also going to add some spaces. I do want to make the car look mint. So you guys look at this right now. The, the gap is pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. So we're going to have to do that. Front and rear. The fronts look a whole lot worse. I do want to either paint these or replace them or maybe paint them for now and replace these later. And then the fronts, uh, yeah, they definitely need some spaces and the rears need some spaces as well. So I think I have some spaces for the rear. If they come out really good, I'm going to order some for the front. Meantime, let's go ahead and wait for Nick to finish up. All right, guys. Nick actually said he's going to go ahead and try to coat in the, the, the heated seat. So we do actually have the heated seat module. I don't know if it's a direct just coating. We might need to wire in some stuff, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a go and uh, see if this can think, if, if we could just coat it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it. That'd be super dope if we get heated right off the bat. So let's just go ahead and unplug this and plug it into the car. It might be really easy. It might take a little bit longer, but regardless, hopefully we have heated seat. So uh, as you can see, this is actually in terrible shape as if somebody keyed it off. Luckily, this is all that we need right here. So we're gonna go ahead and just remove this and insert it to our new faceplate because our faceplate also has the ambient lighting. So um, I think this is a few bolts, no, just a few tabs we can pop this sucker out. So let me go ahead and pop this one out, swap it out with the one on the car, and it uh, should be pretty quick and easy. Alright guys, we went ahead and gotten the new buttons. I, this thing's already starting to bother me. Hopefully we replace this, hopefully in the near future. I have the buttons right here. Um, I just put it on this faceplate. That's the button that we need. Other than that, the rest of this faceplate looks pretty good. The lights and everything seem to be working. Knobs seem to be working, which is good. I got this for only $40, the whole faceplate, which is really cheap. Uh, I, I turned on both heated seats, guys. I, he, I think he just went ahead and coated it in. All we had to do is plug in the seats, plug in this thing. He coated it in. Hopefully that's all you need to do. No wiring involved. That would be awesome. So let's just go ahead and wait while these seats heat up and that would be amazing if this actually worked. This car didn't come with heated seats and that's kind of one of those big things why I wanted to get the, I wanted to get new seats instead of custom seats because I could have customized my seats and made them like one of one. I think M4 seats in a 435 is still one of one and at the same time I do want the heated, fe heated feature because uh, this is my daily and you know winners, why not? Anyway, I'm going to give it a little bit and I'll check back to you guys once it's uh, hot hopefully. So once Nick went ahead and coated the seats, as you guys see the heated seats are working, these buttons right here which didn't didn't work before the ones in the back of the seat but click forward they're going forward and if I click back they go back and then also this was another issue when I click down it used to go up and when I click up it used to go down so when I click down it goes down when I click up it goes up so that is finally all working so it just needs to be coated and uh, these are pretty much bolt-ons because the heated seats start working everything I didn't do, have to do any custom wiring um guys M4 seats and a 435 oh these are so warm right now oh my god our booties are gonna be good so this is sick I'm going to chat it up with Nick real quick see a couple other things that we can do to this car and then I get back to you on a little bit but um that's that's awesome so the, there is the airbag light still on my dash because of the seatbelt tension on the passenger side i do have the original seatbelt tension to my other seats at the shop so i will be swapping that hopefully down the road and then there should be no lights on the dash and heated seats are working all buttons are working properly the only thing now is just the m the, the, the m logo on the seats which i don't know if they're gonna work mainly because it's not something the other seats had like the buttons on the back of the seats that that thing the other seats had but this thing i feel like needs custom wiring um which i do want to get to work one day maybe i could just tap it into another wire and it works but maybe it'll stay on all the time but that's not too bad you know so we'll figure that out uh, maybe down the road but as for now that is awesome uh, shout out to Nick we're gonna go ahead and take the 6 series and head out and uh, head to the shop because uh, we're gonna we really need to lower that car all right guys just dropping off some orders at UPS I guess it's a good time to shout out everyone who supported the build and today's shout out goes to only two people so these two people get an executive shout out so shout out to Sergio Elias shout out to you my guy Highly appreciate the support. Your name is definitely going to be on the plaques. A huge shout out to you, my dude. And then Masoud Saleh. And shout out to you, my guy. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, supporting the 650i build. This car is an absolute piece of work. But yeah, this is new in the future, so uh, back to new in the past. All right, guys, second post off. Drop off the rest of the packages. I'm actually hand delivering one of the packages to one of you guys because you guys are pretty close, and I don't really feel like uh, 
spending $10 on shipping when I could just drop it off myself. All right, I just dropped off the package to you guys. Unfortunately, I called him. He wasn't home, but I did drop it off to his mother, so that was cool. Figured it was local, why not? Anywho, let's head back to the highway and head straight to the shop. We gotta install some lowing springs on this bad boy and probably some spaces. We gotta make this fitment good. Just made it to this shop here with the 650i. So uh, I think now we should go ahead and pop over the garage and finally install some lowering springs. So you guys look at the car. Look at this gap. That's pretty horrific, I'm not gonna lie. It has some Michelin tires, which is actually pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. Pretty meaty tires too. Yeah, it has this crazy, it's like at least a three or four inch gap right there. That's crazy. So hopefully we can minimize that. I do wanna pick the calcos. I wouldn't do the rims. I think I'm gonna do those both at the same time. Video coming soon on that. This car has been really good to me so far. Hopefully it stays that way. Anywho, car definitely needs AC, so I'm gonna try to see if we can get that belt on soon because, oh my God, it's hot even with the top down. Yeah, so we wanna pop up in the garage and get working. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, let's just go ahead and work on the fronts and uh, this is the first time for everything so if I can do it, you all can do it. Guys, that had to get done. It is so much cleaner, no more leaves, anything like that. It's still hella dirt though, so I'm gonna see if I can go ahead and clean that up real quick. Vamos un, dos, Sin estrés, muéstrame sus pasos, te cuento hasta diez y ven. Yo sé que tú quieres. Moverlos sin pena. Yeah, this is my first strut out. That's crazy. Just like that. All the springs are here. This looks crazy. These are the performance springs from H&R. And uh, guys, I think these are the rears, these are the fronts. I don't know how I'm supposed to fit that on there, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna have to do some research on that. But I'm pretty sure these are the right ones. I guess from the looks of it, it turns out the rear ones are longer than the front ones. I didn't even know that, so it looks like I do have to remove the rear shock. Um, it is actually gonna have to remove, I have to cut the whole trunk, unfortunately. Because if you guys look at it, that is really thin and really long. So, uh, yeah, so that's, so those are the rears. And the short ones on this car is actually the front. So, uh, let's go ahead and start taking this thing apart. What I went ahead and picked up are these two little clamps. So, I guess I just supposed to tighten it on there until it feels loose and then pop off the head and then take out the spring and yeah, you know, I, we're just gonna go ahead and attempt it. Alright guys, so I finally got all those pieces off. These tools are actually pretty sketchy, I'm not gonna lie, but I finally got the strut out, and uh, I guess that's what really matters for now. Let me go ahead and move all this stuff. Hopefully not, hopefully that spring doesn't get undone. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen these up very slowly and then remove the spring. So I just went ahead and lowered this side. This side definitely went down. We're gonna go ahead and do the other side as well. This actually took me forever, but it's the first time for everything. I'm super happy it actually went in. And it's actually not too hard. It's just, you know, it, it just takes some time, especially if it's your first time. This side, I already have all the tools out, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and just knock it out. And then the rears, we'll see how much time I got, but uh, for now, let's just take care of the fronts. Talk to me, baby. Guys, finally got it. Let's install it. Might be easier just to let it go. Cut the cable short and the problem solved. Might be easier for you. I do it all night. Just like that, guys. Fronts are lowered. That is such a big difference. The front was the same as the rear. Check out the rear, guys. I guess you can see the difference. This is such a gaping hole. <laughs> Anywho, but if you guys look at the front here, definitely a lot better. It was it was literally like four fingers and now it's like a finger. So you guys can see that's a huge difference. Oh my God, I can't wait to restore these wheels or get new wheels and just 
paint those calipers is disgusting but so far coming together the two fronts are done i'm gonna go ahead and start working on the rear i might do it right now i might do it tomorrow you guys are about to find out in a bit all right guys now the car looks totaled uh don't worry about all this uh mess i basically got the top to go up halfway uh to expose the bolts back here so yeah it's right here um which is super cool so three bolts release it and uh i can pretty much drop it the same way as the front two and then go ahead and replace the springs as well i think the rear is gonna be a lot easier because there's a lot more grip to the springs there's so many more springs so i feel like i can grab it and compress it easier i'm not too sure but i do think that's the case so let's go ahead and jack up this side and go ahead and do this side first hopefully we can get it done guys finally got that out i don't know who was recording but that took me a solid 30 to 45 minutes maybe even an hour to get this thing out all right guys i got the spring back on there right so uh take two do the last side and hopefully they okay, hopefully this last one's easy i mean so far i'm getting the hang of it but uh it's not the easiest thing in the world coilovers is 10 times easier absolute mess actually oh my god look at my hand but uh finally all the suspension is done i'll go ahead and show you guys it tomorrow i'm gonna head home right now i'm actually gonna take the wheel spaces as well i'll do that at the house tomorrow i'm gonna head home i'm super hungry and uh but first let me just get cleaned up so i'll catch y'all probably tomorrow and what's up guys welcome back this is day two so your boy uh got a lot of work done last night but again, he got really hungry. It is Ramadan right now, so your man's fast. I think it's like one more day left. So hopefully by the time this video goes up, I think we have one day left, or that today is the last day. And I can finally grind all night. But uh, just for now, how to get home, get some rest, get something to eat. But guys, I want you to see the car. So here's the car during the day. So this is how she's sitting right now. The car is so much more lower. Noticing it this morning, it is actually a big difference. Uh, the gaps is pretty horrific though. So I do want to bring out the front a little bit. And then I'm actually going to get like 20 millimeter spaces for the rear. Or like 15 to 20 in the rear. I have only 12s right now, and I think I'm gonna do the 12s in the front. But guys, the car is looking so good. It is super filthy right now, but um, here's another shot of the side angle. I don't know if you guys can see it, but like, it looks so much better with lowered. If you guys are looking at the roof right now, the motor completely broke that latches it. So I ordered the new gears to actually rebuild the motor. I'll be showing you guys that hopefully in a near video. But to wrap up this video, I do want to add spacers. So I want to add some spacers and I do actually want to add some light, some bulbs to this car as well. So let's go ahead and get the car back in here and do a couple more mods because uh, this video ain't going to end with just springs. That's, uh, that's not enough, you know? All right, guys. So the car is back in the garage. I cannot wait for it. I ordered the new gears for this. It's already starting to annoy me, but I cannot wait to get that fixed. Things keep breaking, but that's normal. It's an old car neglected been sitting for months So as I'm starting to use it things are being lubricated properly So things just tend to break so I'm okay with that I'm cool with that mainly because I actually really love this car It is a beautiful car and it drives so well You know we always talk about how some cars are boats and you know They're just fat and they just don't drive you know super fast the thing is with cars like this It's not meant to be super fast it has enough power to basically get up and go but at the same time It's a boat. It's very very comfortable to drive when I go over speed bumps even with the new spring it's so smooth like if you can literally go over a speed bump going 50 miles an hour and you will barely feel it that's how smooth the suspension is on this car which is amazing not to mention it is a, it is a convertible and I do believe that every six series should be a convertible maybe because they're big cars like they're really big cars I don't see big cars as sports cars. I see big cars as like a luxury. And to be honest, before owning this car, I never thought I'd ever like a convertible, but this actually made me change my mind. That's how good of a car this is. The only problem is I really wish BMWs made the V8s a little bit better. You guys know that these cars typically have valve stem issues no matter what. So this thing does, even after replacing the PCVs, the car idles and functions perfectly, but there is still smoke coming off the rear exhaust. One of you guys told me that this right now, I'm putting 5W30 oil in the car. The car is meant to have 10W60 oil. 
oil. So I think it's burning the oil because it's too thin. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some 10W60 oil put in there. I think that should fix the smoking issue and this car will be absolutely mint. So before getting into the spacers, I just wanna mention a few more things. What is wrong with the car currently? The Currently the trunk will not open on its own power. So basically I have to use an emergency release to open up the trunk. Why is that? Because basically the, the, the valet option is already locked and we, the new key didn't come with the cutout. So the new key doesn't come with the cutout so I can unlock it. So I have to, I have to go down to BMW. I finally got the pink slip. So I'm gonna go down to BMW and get them to cut me out a new key because you have to show them the pink slip to get a new key. That's what's kind of crazy. And then hopefully that should fix the whole trunk situation. That should fix the center console situation. That should be able to unlock all the car and be able to function perfectly. And then one other thing is the AC belt. I do want to get that on there so the AC will work and then everything should be pretty much mint. So without further ado, let's get into that. Also, I forgot to mention, guys, before we actually get in, before we actually get into the spaces by Burger Tuning, these springs are from Keys Motorsports. If you guys need springs for your car, make sure to check out Keys Motorsports down below. And like everything else on the Keys Motorsports website, use code NOR5 and get 5% off everything. Your whole order, a single item, anything you want, use code NOR5. You guys can literally get 5% off everything. If you have lowering springs, get it from Keys, get a discount, why not? So without further ado, let's go ahead and remove the passenger wheel. So while we have the wheel off, let's go ahead and take out this bulb, see if we can replace it with some kind of smaller bulb, and then let's go ahead and pull out that halo bulb, and just put it on the other side to see if we actually burnt out a fuse, or it's the bulb. Because some of you guys are saying I possibly burnt out a fuse, I don't know if there's an actual light fuse, I feel like the bulb itself would just blow. Um, so, if anything, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this bulb, put it on that side, if it still doesn't work, that means for some reason either a fuse blew, or uh, some kind of thing, I'm not too sure. So I guess we'll figure that out right now. After removing that side marker light, I realized that this is the bulb you can replace. So looking at this, yeah, it is completely blown out. So uh, we have a few other alternatives. Let's go ahead and just try out different kinds to see which one looks better. Uh, I just put a clear bulb on this side and this side actually has a yellowish bulb. So uh, let's see if both works and if so, which one looks better? We'll go with that one. So this is this side, it's more of like a yellowish color. And on this side, it's more of a whitish color. Actually? I think I dig the white a lot more. Not gonna lie, this is white. Ooh, actually that's kind of hard. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the white. I just think that looks a lot more modern. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with that real quick. All right, guys, I went ahead and put an LED one on this side. So this one used to be the yellow one. I put in an LED, and this one is an actual turn signal one, but it's white. Um, I actually think that the ones matching looks a lot better than having this super bright LED. It just doesn't look right, but it's super cool that you're able to do that. So anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. I just want to experiment. and let's go ahead and match both of these turn signals. <laughs> All right guys, that's super satisfying. So we finally have this and this, both working on both sides. The halos are working on this side. The halo bulb is actually coming today. So hopefully we're gonna get both halos and both of those lights working. And then hopefully we can, we can test out if our light bulb blew or our fuse blew. We're about to find that out right now. Okay guys, so everything from this headlight was working earlier. I swapped everything from this headlight to this headlight for the daytime running. The actual bulb, the module, and the bracket. So I don't know if it has anything to do with anything, but I went ahead and replaced everything over to the other side. What we have working on both sides is this part, and this whole turn signal is working on both sides. The headlight is not. So let's go ahead and hopefully get that situated. <laughs> So you guys saw that, it's not the bulb. The bulb actually turns on, so if it was a fuse, it wouldn't work at all. So if it's not the bulb, not the fuse, not the resistor, something else is going on. Is there a module that I'm missing? Let me know guys down below if I'm missing a module. And if there is a module, please let me know what exact module I need to get for this car because I moved everything over to the other side and the bulb and everything worked from this side to this side. So the bulb is, is good, the resistors are good, all that stuff is good. It looks like there is some other module that I'm missing. So let me know guys. Anywho, that being said. So like I said guys, if you guys want some lowering springs, make sure to check out Keys Motorsports down below and use code NOR5. So besides this beautiful looking steering wheel, um, I do want to get a new 
shift knob or pretty much like I said wrap this in Alcantara and then wrap this in gloss black and just pretty much make this match this so it'll be super sick but also this car hasn't had a cup holder I've been using this one and it's been super annoying all the way back here and uh, you know this thing just stays up and everything so these cup holders like 150 bucks I finally found someone on eBay selling one for 75 bucks and uh, as you guys can see I will go ahead and wipe that don't worry but go ahead lock that in just like that we got a cup holder boy so that is awesome that is sick so we finally have a cup holder in the 650 it is a luxury car definitely deserves a cup holder this is so sick i'm actually like so happy about this i don't know why it's like the little details that really pull this thing together this also this mirror vibrates a little bit ever since i got the windshield replaced so uh i do need to figure out a way to make sure that stays mounted so it doesn't vibrate as much and then obviously i ordered a new motor for it right here because this thing completely failed on me unfortunately you guys are probably looking at this car like what a piece of garbage hey hey it's our piece of garbage and we're gonna restore it because this is what we do on this channel it's a neglected bmw it's been sitting for months it's been destroyed i don't know if I'm, all this money i'm putting into it is exactly what you would say worth it but for a car that i'm learning on i'm learning new things you know it's definitely worth it you can't put a price tag on experience and uh, i'm learning things that i would have never learned if i never owned this car but anywho at least we got the cup holder we got a cup holder we're, we're piecing this car together slowly but surely and actually we're making some pretty insane progress we installed some lowing springs and this car is looking 10 times better i'm thinking about putting front splitters rear diffuser and side skirt extensions you guys let me know what you guys think about that and as for the wheels i think i do want to put some spacers on there and just make it a really beefy and mean setup i think that would be super dope and also my am i i'm not even I'm, I'm even thinking about getting red interior i don't know guys i don't know i'm a little crazy but just fyi all the mods i'm getting on this car guys is from keys motorsports so if you guys want to support your boy and if you guys want to get some awesome mods they're shipping out and their shipping is on point with even with this whole covid19 stuff so remember to use code nor5 to help me out and help you guys out by giving you five percent off anything in the store and without further ado guys i'm gonna go ahead and wait on getting some new parts and uh I'll catch you guys hopefully in the next one. So I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.